Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Insight Two Hundred One. Today, we we are going to talk about phonotactics and syllable, two concepts. But actually, phonotactics would be really informative when we have the concept of syllable. So let's talk about talk about these two things together. First, phonotactics. Phonotactics are language specific rules for combining. Consonants and vowels with each with each other to form meaningful or grammatical elements such as words. So it's a、um, the knowledge about to knowledge about how to put sounds together and it's language specific. So it means that English will have its own phonological rules. And French and Italian and Mandarin and other language will have its own phonotactics rules. So we have to ask: Are these possible English words? We have to specify. We have to specify the language English words. So we have two sounds here: spent and ems, empus, empus. As you can see, we can pronounce these two sound combinations. Okay. However, are they possible English words? The answer is no. They are not possible English English words. And we use star. If you are in, if you are an、uh, English speaker, native English speaker, I think you have the intuition. When someone says spent, spent. You feel something strange. This is not a possible English word, and same apply for for impulse. Impulse. Okay. So let's try to formalize some rules to to rule out these two sound combinations. Okay. The first the first attempt is to say that English. The、uh, English, the mental rules in a native English speaker does not allow adjacent sp combination and mp combination. Okay, this is the first attempt, and we are going to revise this rule because if we simply have this rule, there are some counter examples. For example, we can we can say this word he has Bob, so we have. Sp But combination here adjacent sequence, and also we can have I am pleased, if mp adjacent adjacent mp right. So this is not a right rule, or we can say, look, we have different words. This sound is this sound belongs to the previous one, and this sound be, belongs to the following one. So maybe word boundary matters. So English does not allow adjacent sp and mp within the same word. Now I include the word boundary concept. However, this is still not right because we have the following counter examples: we have husband, sp, right, and we have compose, mp, still. So. This rule cannot rule out these two counter examples. Let's try a third one. This is the final version. So English does not allow adjacent sp sequence and p sequence within the same syllable. So we have to use the concept of syllable. We have to introduce the idea of syllable so they so that we can really describe why sp. These two things are bad, and these two things are okay in English. Okay, so we use dot to indicate syllable boundary. So husband actually has two syllables, hus and bent. So sp are in different syllables, so they are good. And here compose with come and p in two different syllables. So They are two, dis- two, two different syllables, so they are okay from this rule. On the other hand, this is one single syllable, and sp 
is in the same syllable. This shows the same point, so they are ungrammatical. We use star to indicate to indicate ungrammatical string or sounds. Okay.